So every year I do the Goodwood Revival and I spend three days explaining the difference between stockings, hold-ups and tights to people around the world because there you get about 100,000 people and they come from all over Europe, from France, from Germany, Italy, you get a few from Australia even and obviously America and also the UK and there, there is a lot of confusion as to what, stockings, what are stockings, what are tights and what are hold-ups etc. And the confusion isn't confined to people who just wear stockings or tights once a year. It's actually in the industry as well. I was speaking to Amanda who works in our Burbank boutique earlier this year and she used to work for a big European lingerie brand who were in the US and she, even she was confused about the difference between stockings, hold-ups and stay-ups. I'll try, try and get this clear once and for all so you know exactly what you're buying, exactly what you're wearing and what you need to wear them with. So at What Katie Did, we sell stockings, and by stockings I mean stockings that finish on your thigh and you definitely need a garter belt or a suspender belt to hold them up. So the third garment we've got is tights, and tights go all the way to the waist. And you'd think that'd be quite simple, but as less and less women wear stockings and hold-ups and tights, uh, the word stockings can be used to describe any three of these garments. Uh, I've noticed this at the Goodwood Revival, we do get people coming in and ask for stockings and are quite surprised when, when we give them stockings because what they actually mean are tights. So you have to be very clear on, on what you want to buy, what you're looking to buy and to make sure the person helping you knows what they're talking about as well. So if you're looking at hold-ups or stay-ups, they're actually both the same thing. And these are the, again, they're thigh highs and they have a band of silicon inside, so they hold up or stay up by themselves. And for these, you don't need a garter or suspender belt. It is possible to wear a garter belt or suspender belt with them if you, if you like the look of that, but you'll have to wear a garter belt with metal clips because if you wear one with the narrow modern style clips, it's very difficult to get through the silicon. So it's really better to, if you wear stockings, wear those with a garter or suspender belt. And if you wear hold-ups, wear them without a garter belt or suspender belt. At What Katie Did, we sell stockings for which you need a suspender belt or garter belt. And we sell a seamed version as tights, which go all the way to the waist. What we don't do is sell hold-ups or stay-ups. From my personal experience, I find that very few hold-ups or stay-ups actually stay up comfortably all day on me. And I often find that the silicon which lines the inside of the bands of the stay-ups and hold-ups irritates me after a while. And I'm not the only one as well, because for the first few years, we used to have a lot of women come to us first thing in the morning at the Goodwood Revival with their hold-ups which had fallen down and weren't holding up at all. So now you know what Katie did. If you buy stockings, you'll need a garter belt or suspender belt. And if you, know, if you buy tights from us, they'll go up to the waist. But what about other brands? Now this is where it gets a bit trickier because if you look at brands which sell stockings, they quite often photograph the packaging without any garter clips or suspender clips showing because it just, if they just sell stockings, then it just shows the stockings they're selling to avoid confusion. And if they sell online, they quite often use the packaging picture from the, from the hosiery, which again confuses the issue, especially because Google and Facebook really don't like suspender or garter clips. If you, we found in our advertising, if you include a suspender clip or a garter clip, then you're quite likely to get your ad turned down for being adult content, which is, which is rather naughty of them. So if you are buying stockings or hold-ups from another company, either online or in store, please check with a sales assistant before purchasing or check the small print just to make sure that you end up with a garment that you really want. So that's everything you need to know about stockings and hold-ups and tights and stay-ups and thigh highs. And if you have any more questions, please let me know below and I'll be back to you next week. So take care.